The EPMP Elevate migration consists of seven main steps, including reviewing prerequisites and requirements, pre-configuration of the EPMP access point, installation of the EPMP access point, subscriber upgrade, transition of subscribers to the EPMP access point, verification of subscriber registration and link quality, and removal of original access point equipment. First, it is important to understand that the EPMP Elevate migration process does require a brief system outage. Careful preparation will help to reduce this downtime. To ensure a smooth system transition, begin by verifying that targeted subscribers are configured to be EPMP Elevate compatible and record all subscriber signal strength and signal quality metrics. Step two includes pre-configuration of the access point prior to deployment, including software upgrade, access point license generation and installation, and configuration of any additional parameters inherent to the original network. Step three, installation of the EPMP access point, involves two options. Option one includes co-locating the access point with the current fielded access point, allowing operators to simply power down the original equipment and power on the new EPMP access point. If additional mounting space is not available, operators may choose to replace the original access point with EPMP using the same mounting structures. Step four includes installation of the EPMP Elevate software onto compatible subscriber modules. Once a subscriber is upgraded, it will begin to scan for EPMP access points on all frequencies and channel sizes. Upgraded EPMP Elevate subscribers retain only their management IP address and device name. All other parameters may be configured over the air after the upgrade to EPMP Elevate. Step five consists of the transition of subscriber registration from the original access point to the new EPMP access point. Once the EPMP Elevate subscribers have completed network entry, registration and link quality are validated in step six. After link validation, the original access point equipment may be removed. 